What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are currently 14 days out from the marathon. So today is our last hard session, so last speed session. So I'm gonna get warmed up, do about a K warm up, and then I'll take you through the details of the workout. Let's go. So just getting the legs nice and warmed up here. Warming up the lungs, stretching the lungs out a little bit before we get into the main bulk of the session so that we don't just go straight out the gate and spike the heart rate. So there's walk done. So 1K in 4.49, nice and easy. Now going into 10 times 800 meters. So Yasso 800 meters, this workout is a marathon predictor workout. So you take your target marathon time, bring that into minutes, and that's what you've got to hold for 10 sets with a two minute recovery. So for me, my target is 3.30 in the marathon. So 3.30 per 800 meters on the track, times 10, should be good to go. Let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. Far too quick, as always. Right, so four in the bag, six to go. Holding about a three minute pace per 800, which is far too quick. I'm aware of that, but I'm riding the line between. Just wanted to get it done. I wanted to hold pace. So we'll see how it comes out. I might just do the last three really slow to even it out. So it works, right? So, because the RPE is feeling like a six, seven at best, this is now becoming an exercise in pacing and efficiency. So I'm gonna try and hold seven minutes, try and be disciplined to stay at that pace. Because on marathon day, that pay dividends when I could hold eight minutes with discipline rather than going out the gate and doing 7.30s, 7.20s, shoot myself in the foot for 26.2 miles. Efficiency, so when the effort level's low, I'm looking at trying to keep my chest upright, keep my breathing relaxed, keep my feet landing underneath my body, mid foot fall for striking, all that good stuff. So we're dialing in, form, practicing everything ahead of the race day, which is two weeks away. Something guys, I appreciate it. I look like I'm in a police interview with this white background, but bear with me. Just to talk through a little bit around the reasoning behind the goal being the three hour 30 marathon. Obviously I alluded to what the goal was in the video you just seen, but I thought I'd talk through a little bit around why we chose that particular time. So when we applied for the London Marathon last year in October, after we'd just gone and saw the race, okay, got the good vibes from it, we applied that day. We sort of didn't have any idea as to what pace or what time we wanted to go for, just because we had no reference, no real runs we'd done, no distance that we'd done in, in that area, nothing past kind of eight miles in the last couple of years really. So it's been really a, a journey back into the unknown for us. Uh, but as we got into our training a little bit, we started to feel that eight minute miles, kind of 8.30, 8.15, eight, eight minute miles, are quite comfortable for a prolonged period of time. Our first long run was a 10 miler and that was a bang on eight minute miles. So the rest of the long runs, that's what we used as our marathon pace, even though we hadn't quite decided yet. And as we got through it, we got into the 18 miler, the 16 miler, sort of mile, miles at mileage closer to the London Marathon, so 26.2 miles. We started to feel like that pace would be manageable on the day. So we set our target as a three hour 30 marathon, which requires you to run a 7.58 minute per mile pace for the entirety of the race. Obviously, you could you could do slower 
faster, faster, and negative splits it, or you can do faster at the start and then fall off and still hit the same target. But ideally, you go a little bit consistent throughout the race. We then did our 20 miler, which was confirmatory. So our 20 miler was based off the paces we'd need to hit for a 3.30 marathon. So we based it off a 7.58 marathon. If you haven't been and saw the video that we did for the 20 miler, it's here. So the thumbnail looks like this. We basically held a 7.50 to eight minute pace the entire time. Uh, and so that gave us some confidence that we had to hold the 7.58 for the marathon in a week now, a week's now time. So 3.30 is the goal. I will check back in, in with you after the marathon, hopefully with the good news of the fact that we've hit that target time because this training has been, I'll be honest, quite a long uh, and drawn out process. So hopefully we have some good news at the end of next Sunday and we can say we ran the London Marathon in sub three hours 30. Let's go. Okay, there we have it then. So 10 by 800 in the tank again, slightly fast. I'll put the stats up here somewhere. Uh, I think every, everyone was about three minutes, so way under target. But that's a good thing. I guess it speaks to the fact that I'm in good enough shape to run that marathon in that time. Obviously, the caveat being that you've done enough endurance training, so you can't just go out and do a 10 by 800 at three minutes and expect to run a three hour marathon. It doesn't quite work like that. You have to do all of the fucking endurance stuff, all your zone two as well. We've done that, hopefully. So come 23rd of April, we should be good to go. If you haven't already, the top link in the description will be my donation link for SSAFA, which is the Armed Forces Charity to take care of veterans around the UK. So go and donate to that if you haven't already and subscribe while you're down there. See you next time.